What's up guys, it's time for another reaction video and today we are reacting to Easy Forex eating massive profits, Forex profits, South African Forex traders lifestyle. Now that's a wonderful title. The last time I did this video, uh, I did one where it was like the biggest losses from South African traders. It was like a compilation. Now, I think I'm gonna flip it around and we're gonna watch some of the biggest wins uh, because I got a little bit of a feedback on my last video about this where people thought, you know, I was I was bashing these traders or something like that. I was just reacting to the video and that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. I hadn't watched that video before and I haven't watched this video yet. So it's gonna be a raw reaction and uh, let's just see what, what this video has in store for us. It's your boy Easy Forex. As you can see, today's profit. Today's okay, profit. Okay, so he's floating some float, floating some blue there. Aslan, 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 aslan. Thank you. Oh, look at this! Look at these profits. That's that is some wild leverage on that account. Fifteen lots open. Margin level four four fifty percent. I assume he's trading like news. This, that seems to be the common theme with these guys is they love to trade like news events. I'm here live in London, United Kingdom, trading their currency. So he's got buys on pound USD oh, now. It's still London session. So as you can see, the trades are still on negative. Let's just see, guys. Let's just murder them in their own country with their own currency. Let's just do it. We'll come back when everything is profitable. Thank you. He says, let's come back once things are profitable. Oh, yeah, look at that. that. Easy Forex live from London. Live from London. I mean, London, as you can see, I just made money. Profits floating, guys. If you know. Dang, he's floating. What is that? $500, $600, somewhere in there. That's a crazy, uh, crazy profit considering the balance is $1,500. So he's up to $20, $2,100 on this so what far. He does he hold it or does he close it? That's the question. Uh, it's too much. The scale is too much. The father of Forex, the father of fundamental, the father of technical. Down. Yesterday when I placed this pay 50 lots. Oh, so look at this. So he had, he was trying the, the old, the old buy stop, sell stop approach. Let me just, let me just uh, say just for I don't want somebody to watch this video and then and then get like the wrong impression of like, oh, this could be me. It comes because the risks of this is also very, very high. And you should know that before you go uh, take trades. Sometimes this is, this is exactly a very, very common approach to trading news. People will put a buy trade above and sell trade below current prices. And then on the spike, they're looking to buy if it's going up and sell if it's going down, right? Because the idea is like on a new spike, if it were to shoot uh, straight down, you would make a lot of money just on that release, right? The problem is sometimes you guys may have experienced this, but sometimes with news, what happens is the news actually comes out sort of mixed. It's not like super good news and it's not like super bad news, but the market still has like a massive spike. It just doesn't follow through anywhere. So for example, when I was trying this strategy several years ago now, I tried to build an algo or a robot on MT4 that would do exactly this. And the robot in theory and in back tests was perfect. It would make so much money because again, on big spikes, it would trigger along and you'd be in a huge trade or a trigger short and you'd be in a huge trade. The problem that would happen is that in the live markets, brokers will widen your spreads tremendously. And what happens is you'll get triggered on this trade and just a little bit here, you get triggered on this trade, and then it would do this, and it would stop you out on both for massive losses. So, uh, just a little bit of a story. I was doing this strategy for a long time. I made uh, like 2,500 bucks in like a couple months doing this on a small, small account, and in one trade, gave it all back and more. Lost the whole thing. So, or not the whole account. I lost like all the profit, and then I was like, okay, yeah, this is not. This is just gambling. Orders, so. Most of you left at me. Look at that today. trade. <laughs> Thank you, Queen Elizabeth. Floating six. You. But you know, I, I will say to the to the credit, I know I get the comment all the time about this. Like these these traders, like they they have like a strategy where they're they're trying to either like blow an account on a trade or they're trying to like triple the account or double accounts or whatever. And uh, you know, hey, if it works for you, do what you, do what works for you. And if you get the right brokers that will let you do, you know, super high leverage on news events, then. You know, maybe maybe you have something. That is, it is user friendly. 
Okay, what's he doing here? 35 lots. Okay, so he's got 35 chick. lots sell. Look at me, chick. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see how that went like immediately into a down $1,000 hey, trade? That's what happens to trading 35 down. lots. Down. Or this happens. King of Forex, king Look of at that. fundamental, the king of Forex, guys. I told you, I told he's you. Up about $5,000. Let's not be greedy, guys. I need to. Let's check, check something. Oh yeah, yeah look done. at that. I'm done. Let's close. Bam. Danko. Sixty-eight hundred bucks. Look at that. That's Bro. the quickest sixty-eight hundred dollars I've ever seen. Nah, uh, account just doubled. Yeah. Do Remember it again. We yeah, this is the signal. As you can see, it was issued today. And as you can see now, guys, the profit is floating. Check out the entry. Sniper level. I, 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 I. <laughs> I love this guy. As wow. a kind of one. Guys, it's your boy, Easy Forex. I'm about to do miracles trading NFP. Okay, so he's trading NFP now. Six this is how you buy lots. Was that a buy? Or sell? 65 lot buy. Oh my gosh, right off the rip. Think about that. That's just like the, the spreadiness of this situation. I see. But it's going right into a news event. I mean, look, his account, like if it, if it just, if it just blips a little bit before the news, the account's blown. That is wild, man. That's crazy. Up. Okay, so he's up. This is how you trade NFP. The king of Forex, the king of fundamental. Call me Easy Forex. Look at that, man. He's already up 10 I'm grand a king. on that. I'm a king. They count from 9,100 up to 22. 13, 13. Okay, let's not be greedy. It's 13. Dang, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so he's got his cells in. This guy seems like most of the time he's not actually taking trades. Or he's not doing the buy stop, sell stop thing. It seems like he's just trying to like call the direction of the news before it happens, which I personally, uh, you know, have my thoughts on that. But hey, if he's got some wins, he's got some wins, and it was it's fun to watch them and and you know see what happens. Thirteen hundred bucks on that trade, and that's on a sixteen hundred dollar account. That's awesome. Again, the, the thing is here, right? Like when you when you trade news, you accept a couple things. And I'm not saying it's all bad because there, you know, you're accepting that there's that possibility of making a ton of money in a really short amount of time. And there's also the possibility that you blow your account. Now, here's one thing that I'd be curious about with the account, right? So let's say you put five thousand dollars into an account. So in the US there's like leverage limitations that won't let you ever blow your full 5k or more. The question is, do the brokers that these guys trade on, uh, do they have, uh, can, can your account go negative? Because imagine uh, you, you take a trade and you lose the full 5k. Okay, that's fine. Because, you know, if it goes right, what if you make like 10k, right? And Back in the day when I was trying to do this concept using an algorithm and a robot to do this, I would have the bot search for like major news events coming, uh, major time slots on the chart where news would be coming. And if the spike uh, happened, it would have pending buy stops, sell stops above and below price. And um, it would cancel the other one so that it would, uh, only, it would try and only trigger one. But sometimes it would be so fast and the spreads would go so wide, it would trigger both. And... Um, you know, or you would get into a trade, right? Let's say you would get into a trade, it would pop up, but instead of getting filled here, you would actually get filled here, right? And the, I'm, not, I'm not talking about sketchy brokers. I, I would do this on regulated brokers. I, I rotated like 10 different brokers, like trying to do this new strategy. So, uh, and they would all do the same thing. They widen their spreads so that, you know, you can't do that so easily and just make free money. Um, but anyways, if you can only get down 5K, I can actually see the validity in doing this concept. The question is, can you go negative? Can you actually go uh, negative 10K? Because if you can actually go more than your balance to the downside, which uh, 
for those of you who don't know, you can, on many brokers, this is possible. You can actually end up owing your broker money. Uh, in the US, for example, if you were to somehow blow 10K on a 5K account, you would owe your broker that spread, that that difference would be, oh, you, you know, you owe that to the broker. So if this is like cut off, if there's a hard floor at zero, I can kind of see this being, you know, an idea, right? Where you're, you're basically betting the full amount of your account, but the upside is bigger if you catch the right news event, you catch the right spike. Again, not my style of trading or my interest in trading. To me, it, it resembles too close to gambling because you don't know what the price is going to do on a news event. You, you don't have, you know, insider information unless you do, in which case, you know, why are you putting it on YouTube? Because you definitely probably get caught pretty quick. If you knew what the news was going to do all the time and you had like insider information about like uh, what NFP numbers were going to come out to be, uh, that would be definitely getting you into some trouble uh, with with some authorities. Authorities don't like it when you have insider information somehow and you're using it on the markets. That is, uh, we, we covered that in a video recently. In fact, I'll put a, put a card if you guys uh, would like to watch a video about that. I put, uh, I put out a, a report or a video on an individual who was using Australian dollar or um, he was using Australian uh, figures to his advantage before the news came out. He would, he would have a friend who had all the information about what the figures would be and then he would go trade the Australian pairs because he knew likely what was going to happen to the currency pairs on major news events. He made millions of dollars and then went to jail for it. So if you want to watch that video, check it out. Top right hand of the screen, you can click that link uh, and, and you can go watch the video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos by subscribing and hitting the thumbs up button and see you next time. It looks like you made it to the end of one of my videos. Thank you so much for supporting my content. It really means the world to me. And down below in the description, I've put together some of my best resources for aspiring traders who are looking to improve. I've got some free downloads that could help you, some broker recommendations. And if you'd like to join our Discord or get access to some of our trading software, all of that will be linked down below in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.